a special art exhibit is underway in London. Now, if you've passed through the Cumberland Hotel in central London recently, you probably noticed a large mural being created by the artist Gregory Burns. Well, he spent time viewing London as a tourist to gain inspiration for that painting. Burns is an internationally acclaimed artist who's travelled the world painting scenes from air, land and sea. Well, CNN producer Victoria Kennedy met up with Burns at his studio in Singapore and has the story of his painted journey. The beat of the music, inviting. The high-pitched whistle, intriguing. This is Gregory Burns, an artist with a painted journey. Contracting polio as a small child while living with his family in Israel, his paint-stained crutches and the faint clank of his metal leg braces add to the ambiance of his studio. I'm lucky. I'm witnessing him in his studio, where the sights, smells, and dreams burned into his mind from decades of traveling the world come to life on canvas. This is where it gets ugly, where it gets uh, dirty, and it gets, uh, I dance, I cry, I laugh, I, I, I ask why. It's a, it's a lot of... Uh, a lot of reflection and soul searching and, and trying to take something, whatever that is, and I don't even know what it is, to the next level. And that's not easy, you know? It's like trying to take something that you don't even know where that is and trying to get there. The music helps, not so much to drown out, but rather to pull out the movement of his body, which flows through each bristle of his brush. This is what it's like being completely submerged in an artist's world. His mind, his happiness, as he attacks the canvas with carefully chosen colors. Colors developed and deepened upon dried layers of pigment that have gone before them. There's no road map. Uh, there's no... And, and that's like with all art and anything good. If you want to create something new, you've got to create it through... Uh, by just going not to the same place you've already been. And one place in particular where most artists have never been? Well, pencils work underwater too. And I go underwater and I, I usually sit in the lotus position and I, I get a, I get, I weight myself with some extra weight so I don't float away. And, uh, and I just sit at the bottom of the ocean and I see the manta rays or the sharks or the, or the coral or whatever and I just sketch it. And um, it's very immediate and it's very meditative because underwater when you're breathing with a scuba tank and scuba, scuba gear, it, you hear your breath, you're very conscious of your breath, and, and you're also very conscious of your environment. You know, I've been there and I've had manta rays, you know, the size of a, you know, a small minibus, fly over my head. And, um, and I've been passed by a you know, nine meter whale shark. And, and I've clung to rocks in these, uh, with the current whipping by and with a two dozen uh, black reef tip sharks. You know, swimming around me and it's it's really exciting and, and it's very immediate with a rope and a hook burns tethers himself to the reef so the swirling current doesn't drag him out to sea and there he floats sketching the underwater world on dry land away from the salt and the sand and back in the place where the music thumps the painted journey is just beginning i do have themes in my life that, that have motivated me to to do things and, and maybe you know an underlining one is perhaps perseverance maybe perseverance and one step at a time victoria kennedy cnn singapore on the life of an extraordinary man now burns mural in london is now nearly complete and there'll be a public exhibition next wednesday the mural will then hang in the cumberland hotel until the end of august if you want to see it and if you want any more information about Gregory Burns and his art, just go to our website, cnn.com.